trauma from their childhood, their past relationships and marriages, friendships, something happened to them. And though that is post-traumatic stress disorder is, is um, a result of events that have taken place that cause a very negative emotion, right? And then because you have that memory bank in your mind, in your mind that holds on to that emotional trauma that you experienced, maybe you might forget what that actual event was, okay? Maybe you might forget what that actual event was that caused that, those high emotions for you to lose control of your emotions. But your memory bank holds on to that memory, and then when something happens, it triggers it. Triggers it. And then that emotional state comes back again. It surfaces. And then you're like, what the heck is going on? <laughs> what happened to me? I don't know what happened. You, you start to act out. You start to act out. And so this is what happens to a lot of people. And you know what? That's, mm, that's no good. That is absolutely not, not a good way to be because it eventually will affect everything and everybody else around you. And you'll have these, um, these um, narcissistic traits, you know, that you pick up from dealing with a narcissist for so many years, you know. You have these traits of a narcissistic. You don't want to turn that into being, being, you know, narcissistic. So recognizing triggers and acknowledging the triggers, write it down. Write it down and, 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 and open your tablet, write it down, and go back and read.